I would like to ask you um, what was your idea with this uh, series of paintings? Could you explain? Uh, I guess I started to work with an idea of Orientalism at first because I thought it's iconography that has been somewhat both rejected and labeled in pejorative terms by the you know art discourse, let's say, and I thought that perhaps all too quickly. And as I, you know, dwelled into this, I researched more and more, you know, history behind, and I realized how um, it's been centuries of European fetish of the, you know, Middle Eastern cultures. And somewhat it coincided, you know, it was a coincidence that Nicola started to work on the Biennale and we worked before in Lyon, for the Biennale in Lyon, and the two came together pretty, yes, by chance. And um, there you are, I mean, Para Museum, a museum with an Orientalist collection seemed like a perfect context. No, but it's it's more precise, precise than Orientalism. It's about Turquerie, the fantasy about Turkey since the 18th century, right? Well, depends on for what country, right? I mean, <laughs> but you are focused for, on on Poland. Uh, it mixes, though it does make a strong, you know, strong connection to Poland since. Uh, we shared that border with with Ottoman Empire in 1400s already, but I think that the selection in Istanbul has more to do with a certain European, um, how should I say, fantasy of what you know, what the other is about. And if you think about it, a lot of painters that painted these paintings never traveled, actually. They used props and they were painting their colleagues or clients. So it was, it was I wonder if it was even a fantasy of the art or maybe it was looking for something, um, you know, within the societies they operated that, that was, was different. I think... Uh, that's kind of what I wanted to bring to Istanbul, not so much, um, you know, to talk about uh, Turkish culture or Ottoman culture, which I don't think is my position, but more about European culture that was reacting to it. Yes, but so what What does it mean? Is it linked to nationalism? Is it mean to, linked to identity? Well, I think it's both, and, you know, now, particularly, you know, you can get arrested wearing a turban at the airport, right? And I think uh, it's all iconography that may mean different things in different times, and identity, certainly, the, the paintings uh, refer to historical paintings where, you know, one could say artists used appropriation, they appropriated foreign culture or other culture for their own means, and to rather a paradoxical effect, because they were not painting really, you know, when Balthus is painting himself on a horse in Morocco, he's not painting in Moroccan, he's painting himself appropriating Moroccan culture. I mean, it's an interesting um, subject to explore. And you Does are, that <laughs> yeah, it could be. I thought it was a Turkish guy, on, in fact, uh, the Baltus one. No, 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 it's it's him. And the title is, uh, it's a gift for his daughter. Yes. And uh, it says, uh, you know, self-portrait on his horse. So he painted it in the 90s, probably referring to earlier because there's a young man on the horse. But it's uh, it's Valtus. And but you also uh, you are 
playing uh, with your own appropriation of other works, right? So it's a double appropriation. Yes, yes, of course. I mean, I, I think I have a history of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's funny that it's a double appropriation. Yes, and it's, it's appropriation with love. Uh, I would think because you know it's it's also you know it's amazing how we have the centuries of of visual culture that we often um, we can't read anymore or we don't know how to read anymore because things mean very different things if you ask what is the exotic dress or what is the I don't know um, Ottoman dress I mean People will have a hard time to go above the headdress, you know mm. what I mean? You know, so, and yet in a lot of these paintings, you could, uh, uh, you could discover different stories. But yes, double appropriation and appropriating other artists, that's certainly what's going on there. <laughs> and and uh, technically, how did you... How did it work to, to, to make the paintings? Did you make them yourself? Yes, and I, you know, I, cho I chose to work on velvet because I wanted to have this um, decorative context that's often associated with something flashy but cheap. Let's say a hotel painting, a hotel decoration painting is on velvet. Let's say high painting, not necessarily so. So, um, yeah, I think in that in that room and maybe also like uh, accentuates um, a kind of indulgence the velvet does or chose of velvet, I think. Visual one, visual indulgence. 